In the diagram below, AFEB is parallel to CGD, and GE and GF are drawn. If angle EFG is 32 degrees, so let's label that, and also label, let's label the two lines as being parallel. So these two lines are parallel. EFG is 32 degrees, and AEG is 137, so this is 137. Okay, what is angle EGF? EGF, so that's this angle here. All right, so what we know is based on a pair of lines being parallel, the consecutive angles are supposed to be supplementary. So this angle down here that I just labeled with two tick marks, uh, that should be supplementary with 137 there. So that angle has to be 43 degrees. And 43 degrees plus angle EGF, which I'm gonna label as X, 43, X, and 32, those three angles are also supplementary because they are also consecutive angles between uh, a pair of parallel lines. So I say 43 plus X plus 32 will equal to 180, and let's solve for X that way. So 43 plus 32, that is 75, so X plus 75 is equal to 180, Let's subtract both sides by 75, we get 105. So this is not the only way that we can actually get to angle EGF alternatively, and um, we actually end up doing very, very similar things, is uh, we can also figure out what this angle over here is, that 137, uh, is supplementary to, because uh, this angle here and 137 forms a linear pair. So you can see that that angle there is also 43. And it's by it's no coincidence that that is 43 because 43 and this 43 they are alternate interior angles and we recognize alternate interior angles uh, are supposed to be congruent. And then uh, the last step is recognizing this angle 43, 32 and angle X must be supplementary. So you can see 43 plus X plus 32 is equal to 180 is also listed out, but you know, for a different reason. Here, what I'm highlighting in blue inside of the triangle, I'm recognizing that the sum of the angles inside of a triangle is equal to 180. But again, the approach, it's different approach. We end up doing very similar computational work though. Uh, 105, that's option four.